what's going on everybody i just want to drop in and talk to y'all real quick i know a lot of women is uh like upset and there's been a lot of protests going on around the country since the reversal of roe versus wade and i sympathize with all the women you know um and i'm i'm really wondering myself as a man like why are men you know so worried about women's bodies and trying to control what women do with their bodies I'm confused about that well I'm really not confused about it but I know what it's really about and um it's it's a little bigger than what many may believe and think It's all about the uh, pretty much them trying to control the population once again. Like, see, they know that the white race, like they're 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 not they're they're not the majority anymore. They're, they're not they're not the majority. They've been losing. Um, they know that. The African American and the Latino race uh, are larger. Their families are larger. So it's, it's deeper than just telling you. See, they they had to say it for all the women, but really, they directed it's really directed at these hateful, these 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 uh these these these. these these hateful politicians that really hate to see anybody else winning, they want to keep controlling with their population. They want to have that population control, you know. But at the end of the day, that's what it's, that's what it's really about. But they had to direct it and make this thing and say for all the women, you know, but you do to think about it and say, like, well, why are you so concerned about a woman's body and what they do? Why is that such a concern? We have other things to worry about. But meanwhile, you know, so then you think about it. Why do you think that they stopped the Mexicans from coming in across the border? They want to turn them around. They separate them from their children. They did all of that. And still, they're separated from their children at the borders and everything like that. Keeping them in, like, camps and things of that nature. They're right next door to us. There's a lot of them are fleeing they're fleeing Mexico to come to the United States seeking asylum. They turn them right around. They hold them there. They don't want them to come in. Then you think about the Haitians. When the Haitians try to come, they kept them right. They kept them at the border. Guns drawn, drawn at them. You know, they're beating them, swat, swat, like shooting them away, keeping them across. Don't come over here. You know, you can't forget that. That was just what earlier this year. You know, we, we can't forget about that. With that, with the, with the Haitians, right? So this stuff, like, you gotta look at it. But then they'll go, they'll go and bring, bring folks from other countries over here. On the plane, you know, go Afghanistan. They brought they brought folks over here, put them up, room and board, give them everything they need. And uh, what they went in two countries they brought over here this year, brought to the United States, brought them over, flew them over, put them up. They all over the country, spread out. Okay, but meanwhile you have neighbors right there in you know Mexico. They're always, you know, throwing dirt on their name. These folks are come out, trying to come in, trying to seek a better life. They have their children with them. They're trying to, the first thing they'll say, oh, they want to come over here and they're going to cause crime. They're going to, they're going to, you know, they're going to boost the crime rate. Oh, we don't have enough space for them. Like, why, why are they coming over here? Which they've been trying to, they've been coming into this country every day for years. They wanted to put up a wall and fences, all of this stuff. And if you ever been down in the southwest of the United States and you wonder where you're going to put the fence up at, you know, it, it, that's a long, 
I mean, you got a long stretch. You got Texas. You got California. They can get in different ways. You know, Arizona, all in the Southwest. How would you? How would you gonna do that? But they try to lock them. They want to lock them out. The Haitians, they're coming. They got their children on their backs, crossing the water. They're pointing guns at them. They're they're trying to just shoot them away. Like just shoot, go back over there. Put them up in little shelters. Like hey, you stay over there. They got to figure out what they want to do with 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 these races of people. But meanwhile, they're bringing people in on jumbo jets, bringing them in. And, and oh, we, we got to take care of them after the country done spent millions of dollars with assistance, period. They still, but they, they, they have good reason for that. You know, so this, I say that to say all this, when we think about it, it's deeper than just wanting to just control all women's rights when carrying a child it's a little deeper than that I understand and I sympathize with all the women with that because I'm trying to understand why is man concerned about another a woman's body like why are you so concerned about what she does that's her choice there's so many different reasons why that woman could want to have an abortion there's so many reasons that it just doesn't even make sense. Like, why would you even put your nose in that? You know, mind, mind, mind your business. Stay over here as long as they're, they're not, you know. So, like I said again, it's deeper. It's more about, you know, it's more about that they're hateful race. And I don't want, I don't want all Caucasian folks to think that I'm saying like, <clears throat> like you. I'm talking about the the hateful. Caucasians, the ones that really want to control everything, don't want no one to have anything. Those are the Caucasian white folks, okay, that I'm talking about, all right? They're in politics. They're willing to give out their friends, and they, they, they hand out all information to their friends and let them learn about different things that's going on, but they won't share the people they, they're supposed to be representing. They won't they won't they won't share that same information they won't give out that same knowledge you know they don't they don't even they don't even those, those, those hateful caucasian white folks okay they don't even care about they, they don't even care about each other unless they can get something from you you know and unless you're down with their with with their program if you're not down with their program and they can't get nothing from you, they don't care that you're white as well. Okay? So therefore you got a lot of people out here, um, just just for instance, just like those those ones that were capping for Trump, running around and then they go climb up the uh climbing up the walls at the, the, the US Capitol, the climbing up the walls and stuff. Yeah. They those those were the folks that would do anything for that cat, and he cared nothing about him. He t he tell them to jump. They say how high, so they ran up there, and then they now a lot of them are going to jail because they follow a weak non-leader. The dude is not a leader, okay? And they followed this guy, and he led them right to a trap. Led them right to a trap, and people got hurt in the mix of that. You know, um, and that's a sad thing. And you have folks lost their life, you know, and they're working just trying to provide for their families and just doing their job. And they lost their lives, you know, um, in that e during that event. That 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 fight terrorist act in your own country. Everybody watched it live, you know, in real time. And so then. They all try to plead, and now they want to make excuses, but they follow someone <laughs> that they shouldn't have been listening to have them put them in that situation. Well, he's still free, I guess, for now, but they're, they're, they're all looking 
they're all looking at time and all, they're already doing time and they're still hunting down more of them and the federal government they gonna catch them and it, 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 everybody who thought they might have got away from that day I bet they're somewhere every day biting their <laughs> biting their fingernails every day looking around just waiting hoping that it's, this thing just blows over and nobody finds out it's them and even if it's five years from now I don't care if you somewhere relaxing on a beach somewhere's resort <laughs> they gonna come snatch you you better believe that so yeah I just wanted to drop in and just because that I seen someone make a post on the social media and it kind of touched on uh, with something that I said a couple of days ago about uh, this 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 whole reversal of Roe versus Wade and it being deeper than just trying to tell women what oh you can't have it it's deeper than that it's them trying to save the hateful politicians around this country governors in certain states it's them that mentality of them trying to save their race and and, and acting like they're speaking for american people but the funny thing is like it's like how you speaking for american people when you don't even talk to american people you just think if you talking to your 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 neighbors or your friends for years that you're talking no you're not how you talking for american people you would know that they American people and American women are not for that. You know, no matter what, there's, there's many American women that's not for it, no matter what the race is. You know, but you're not listening to them. The other thing that really tripped me out was just seeing women. Like, seeing women and some of the, you know, certain women in the politics, and they're really like, yeah, they were down with the reversal of, of, of Roe versus Wade. They were really down with it. And I'm like, wow. So, you know, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, it's deeper than that. And um hopefully it will it will it will be reversed back and the power will be back into the women's hands. But I just wanna say one thing before wrapping up. Just be careful if you're protesting and everything. Try not to, you know be be you know, be non violent with it. Because that, that's what they're waiting for, you know. Um, and um, just peace and blessings be with all you around the country. And um, yeah, it's just a, it's a it's a real out of all the things that needs to be done. We you know we have folks worrying about. We have men worrying about women's bodies and what they should do with a child as if they really 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 care but it don't it's deeper than that they're trying to save their wealth and riches they have gained over the years and saving it for their families so they know that they have a race that is like they're looking at it in that manner like it's a race that you know that is that is that is that is not as strong as they once believed it to be you know so that's what it's really about, ladies and gentlemen. I just wanted to tap in on that while it was on my brain.